Hello guys and welcome to my spring project use it up update for the month of too April. Much now. What a wonderful So I did introduce my spring project use it up last month in about the middle of the month and I have already quite a few empties and I'm going to introduce a new little kind of body care combo that I'm excited about as we're getting into the warmer months. I feel like it's really necessary to have something else in here that I'm excited about. So let's get started. First things first, I do have three empties from last month. I'm really proud of myself. I did pretty good. So the first one I have is the In The Stars hand cream. I did cut this little guy open just to get the last little bit out and I loved it. I had this at my desk downstairs in the office and I loved it, it was great. I also finished off Twilight Woods in the body lotion. I had this one in my winter project and then also carried over into the spring. The notes were, or it's one of those paragraphs, I forgot about this. Evokes the enticing warmth and mystery of the woods as daylight fades into night. This hypnotic scent is an intox intoxicating blend of lush berry, sparkling mandarin, and soft mimosa with a lasting impression of apricot nectar and cedarwood. Okay, I honestly, oh, cypress wood, sorry. I honestly don't think that this is that great of a scent. It kind of just smells like lotion. It was yummy, I enjoyed it. I might would get it again, honestly, for like the fall time. That's what it feels like it is to me. But it was right here last time I updated you guys and I finished it. I liked it. Um, it did kind of go bad pretty quickly. I think this is from 2021. So I wanted to finish it and I did. And then I also finished Vanilla Milk Cream, which this one was pretty much almost finished when I put it in last month. So it was right about here and then I finished it. Love vanilla mocha cream. I will definitely have to get another set of this. I think this is my last vanilla mocha cream item besides the fine fragrance mist. So I definitely will be getting more of it um, whenever they choose to come out with it again. Maybe I'll find some at SAS because I think the last time they came out with it was around winter time. They might still have it out because that was like a, I don't know, it wasn't a winter specific fragrance set. So I don't know, I'll have to check on that, but I really haven't gone into stores lately. I've not been buying Bath & Body Works. I've been doing very good at using up what I have, so I'm pretty proud of that. So I don't really plan on going in the store soon, but anyways, that's everything I finished. Now let me update you on some things that I've been using. So first we have my little ice sugar plum set. You guys, I'm so close to finishing this. This is a uh, winter project carryover. So from the last time I updated you, we were up here and now we're down to here. I'm almost done. I really do like this scent, so I'm not like mad about having to use it for like six months. Um, but yeah, that's this one. And then the Fine Fragrance Mist, I went from here to here, still using it up consistently, still being good about it. So I'm definitely gonna finish this one. In the next month, I will make it a goal to finish both of them. Next, we have my In The Stars set along with my Gingham Vibrant. So this one, I've gotten some good progress on. First, we have my Moisturizing Body Wash in In The Stars. I love this formula. I missed it a lot. It feels so good in the shower. It's really like, it makes me feel like I'm pampering myself when I shower with this one, so I love it. I've gotten some progress from here to here on it. I was really focusing on that other, uh, in the, what is this, Vanilla Mocha Cream Shower Gel, finishing that one. So I haven't used it that much, but I did still get some progress, so I'm proud of that. My In The Stars Body Lotion, honestly, I'm not feeling this every for everyday use, which is what I intended it to be for, so I didn't get a ton of use on it, and I'm actually gonna put in a new uh, body lotion because this one it's very strong it's nice when I want to feel like I'm pampering myself but it's not like an every night kind of thing to me so this one is good I like it a lot but it's not an everyday scent for me and also in the shower we had my gingham vibrant body scrub this is the foaming and I'm right about halfway on it now I think I put it in unused and we were up to here so I used it a little bit I haven't really been scrubbing my body too much recently so I need to get back on that because I've kind of just been slacking. So that's this one. I do actually update on the scent. I love it. I love it. It's so good. It's like the perfect mixture of berry and also the like violet floral component. So I love it. It's really good. And lastly, I had my Pacifica Sunrise Moon Perfume in here as well. Really loved it. Uh, I got a tiny bit of progress from here to here. I really don't spray that much perfume, so that's probably why, but this is like a nice juicy mandarin. So I like it a lot and it's definitely gonna carry over into the summer because I can just 
imagine this on a hot summer day and I just smell like a juicy mandarin. Oh, so good. Next, we have my vanilla coffee routine, which I did finish the vanilla mocha cream shower gel in this one. So I'm going to actually put in another item for this, but let's go through what I've got progress on. So the most progress that I have is on my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush 71. This is caramelized vanilla and macadamia. This smells like a sugar cookie. It smells so good. So I'm almost done with it. We went from here to here. I will definitely finish it in the next month. I'm going to wear it today <laughs> to go to brunch. Just, I love this scent so much. So really, really enjoying it, using it up, having fun with it. My Fenty Skin Butter Drop in Vanilla Dream. I've been using this and actually have pretty good progress on it, if you can see. Um, this was unused when I put it in last time. About I probably used about a third of it so far. I really love this formula. It's a nice, gentle vanilla scent. It's nothing crazy. It doesn't really last that long, but it is nice and gentle. And this formula is so moisturizing. I love it. I've especially been using this after I shave my legs and it really helps put the moisture back in. Speaking of shaving my legs, I have velvet coffee in the sugar scrub. I forgot how strong this thing is. I swear if I use this, it smells like I'm grinding my own coffee beans or grinding my own espresso beans. It is so strong. So I've really only probably used it once because it's overwhelming, but I need to get better at using it again. Um, I need to get better at doing my morning showers that I used to do because this is perfect for the morning. If I use it at night, it just kind of feels weird to have a coffee scent at night. So I just need to get better about using my scrubs again because I have not been doing that. And the last item that was in this set is my little mini Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. This one's giving me kind of a hard time because it's really hard to apply. Like I have to really go in hard or else none of the oil will come off. So I noticed near the beginning of the month that I wasn't doing that. And so I really wasn't using it. So I only have a tiny bit of progress. So I need to get better now that I know how to use it. I have to push on the roller ball to get it out. Um, I need to get better about using it. And then I'm putting in a Midnight Amber Glow in the body lotion for my everyday lotion. Like I said, in the stars is just a little too strong for me every day and every night. So I'm putting this one in because it's one of my favorites. I love Midnight Amber Glow. This one is Smooth Amber Caramel Latte and Vanilla Bourbon. It's not very coffee-y, I have to say. It's more like mocha vanilla swirl, to me at least. So I love it. It's nice and soft and gentle. And yeah, just one of my favorites. It's unused. I have used it like over the last week, so it's not technically unused anymore, but we are about right here. Of course, the package is not see-through, so I just kind of took the lid off and looked at it, but yeah, that's where we're at with this one. And then I'm really excited about this new combo that I'm putting in. It's my little like strawberry routine, just because I felt like I wanted a little bit more fruitiness going into the warmer months. It's actually been warm here, cool at nights, warm during the day. So it's been really nice outside and I want something fun to like look forward to. So this is my strawberry routine. First item in there is gonna be strawberry guava coconut from Philosophy and this is the shower gel. I love their shower gels. This formula is very gentle. It suds up really well. It's like a very luxurious lather. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells so yummy. I cannot wait to use this. So we are right about here on the package. Uh, a little less than halfway done with it already. So really excited to start using this one. These last forever for me because they are 16 ounces, even though they look small, they are bigger than the Bath & Body Works 10 ounce shower gels. They're pretty large. So I think they're a really good deal, especially if you get them from like TJ Maxx, which I think I got this one from TJ Maxx for maybe 14 or $15. So I definitely think that they're worth it. And then to go with it, I'm putting in strawberry pound cake in my fine fragrance mist. One of my favorites, you guys, I love this one. This is fresh strawberries, golden shortcake and whipped cream. You can tell I'm very excited to start using this one up again because it's just so good. That shortcake really helps in the dry down like to make it last long. It smells delicious. So we are right about here on the packaging. Um, I hope that this red wouldn't transfer onto clothes, but I can't say for certain. So I probably won't wear it today, but yeah, that's strawberry pound cake. Very excited to put this in and to start using it. I'm so happy. And then for perfume, I'm putting in another one of my little Ariana Grande mini coffret perfumes. This is Ari by Ariana Grande. And I wanna say this one is fresh pear, blackberries. I'll put the notes down here. I just looked it up on Ulta. But yeah, I really haven't used this like ever at all. So I'm excited to try it. I really have no experience with it. So we shall see. I'll update you guys on what I think of it next month. And next month is May. So that will be the last month for my project Use It Up. 
And then in June, we will do the summer project Use It Up. So I'm very excited. I did go through my collection today and kind of see what I have. I have a lot of shower gels and I have like two sets, I think already prepped for summertime that are like coconutty. So very excited about those, but that's it for my spring project Use It Up. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what fragrances you're wearing for the springtime, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.